Hello, advanced word weekly revision exercises um, continue with the tables in section 5 and this time we're dealing with convert text to table in question 13. So it's asking us to convert the text in the document diary to a table, this table um, text has tabs and the appropriate number of rows and columns and then save. If you need any further help, page 53, 54 will help you with that. So let's do so once again using the weekly revision work files, let's double click and open up diary and you can see in here that we have some text. If we put the show and hide on up here, to remember our, our little tool that shows us what's going on in the back of the document, you can see that this text is tabbed, which means that it's ready for converting into a table. So let's turn that off and let's highlight the text correctly so that we don't get any tailed um, highlight going over the edge. And in the insert tab, let's go to table, and then you can see the feature convert text to table. If we click on that, because we've highlighted it correctly, it will give us the appropriate number of columns, and you can see if you wanted to count them, and the appropriate number of rows, and you can see that the separate text is tabbed. Okay, so if we OK that, then it goes into a perfect table. Now notice out of interest, it's not asking us in this question to do anything further, we just go on to save it. But if we were in an exam or a test and it had a converted table already and it had to be converted back to text, notice because we've got a table, the layer table uh, tools tab appears. And in here, if you wanted to go the other way, then this is the way that you would convert a table back into text. So if we click on there, it's got the tabs, which is the way that it would be separated, and OK. And then you can see, if I put show and hide on, that that table has been converted back to text. So useful tools um, for advanced Word. OK, so um, we're finished with that section now, and I'm going to be moving on to referencing.